guys, welcome to Movie Boner. My name is Frankie Pozos, your hostess with the mostest. Last week I talked about uh, Thor. I was excited to see Thor. Well, I have my opinion on Thor. And I'm going to tell you my opinion on Thor right now. And I have a special guest with you. You're not going to believe I have him here, audience. You're going to be completely surprised. Here he is, the man, the literal myth, the legend, Thor, ladies and gentlemen, we have Thor here. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, I'm Thor, I'm Thor, hello. Oh my god, I can't believe you're here. Well, it's my pleasure, Frankie. Oh my god, Thor. So how you doing? Doing all right. Got the number one movie in America. Fuck you, Fast Five. Okay, watch it. Watch it with the language. Come on, come on, Thor. Anyway, what do you think of my film? Well, I thought your film was pretty awesome. I think it was better than Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton, you thought it was better than that? Yeah, dude, it's pretty cool. Oh my god, thank you, thank you. I know. Uh, I, so what, you think it's better than Iron Man? I don't think it's better than Iron Man, dude. What, what do you mean? Well, come on, Robert Downey Jr., that revitalized his whole career. Yeah, I guess so. I love Robert Downey Jr., folks. Yeah, I know, man. Robert Downey Jr. is awesome. Anywho, I thought this film was pretty cool. You were awesome. Chris Hemsworth was awesome. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. Have you seen him in Star Trek? Yeah, I know. I saw him in Star Trek. And he's pretty badass. He's only in it for like 10 minutes or so. Yeah, I know. And he freaking made the whole film. I know, dude. I know. Watch it with the freaking hammer, for God's sakes. Anywho, um, I thought the... The special effects were kind of cartoony, though. What do you mean, cartoony? Well, it was kind of cartoony. What? It's a fantasy world! Asgard is a fantasy world! You're supposed to think it's a fantasy world! Okay, I know, I know it's supposed to be a fantasy world. Okay, I, I like the special effects. Alright. But I kind of thought some of the jokes were kind of, you know, jokey. What do you mean, jokey? Well, I mean, you're in the bar and it just gets kind of funny. What do you mean? What? I'm trying to find you my humanity! Okay, you're trying to find your humanity. Alright, I get you. Alright, did you see it in 3D? No, I didn't see it in 3D. What do you mean you didn't see it in 3D? Well, come on. Come on, dude. It's post-converted. What do you mean post-converted? What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, watch it. Watch it, Thor. Well, post-converted means um, a 2D film gets transferred into a 3D film. It was shot on 2D, and they change it into a 3D film. Avatar is a 3D film. It was shot on 3D, so when it comes out in theaters, it's 3D. So it's completely, your eyes are okay with it. Thor, on the other hand, shot on 2D, released on 3D. It looks kind of funny. They cha They couldn't get the depth of feel. Everything kind of gets weird, and it kind of destroys the image. So I didn't want to spend that much money. So you're cheap. Well, I don't want to see a bad version of your film. Oh. Oh. Okay. But are you going to buy it on Blu-ray? You know what? You know, I'm going to get it on Blu-ray. I like it. I give it a solid B+. Plus. So yeah, I'm going to buy it on Blu-ray. All right, because that's where we make the real books. Blu-ray, buddy. So you better get it. Okay, I, I will get it. All right? Yeah. All right. I'm out of here. My name's Thor, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. Okay, see you, Thor. Bye. <laughs> Thor. <laughs> Anywho, talking about Thor, the director of Thor, Kenneth Branagh, who's this awesome Shakespeare actor, Shakespearean actor, sorry, Shakespearean director as well. He's made Shakespearean films. You probably know him. He was a... Um He's been in a lot of cool films if you've seen him. Anywho, um, he, he they, at the Arrow Theater they did a, they brought back his film that he did of Hamlet, which is a five-hour cut of the film, including an intermission. I saw this Hamlet when I was a kid in the '90s, so I had to go see it again. So I saw it. My butt is literally jelly. I can't believe I st stood that. But I love the film. The film is awesome. He was there. The Q and A was kick ass. He talked about every aspect, through the acting, the shooting, everything, and told funny stories. Kate, Kate Winslet's in the film, and he talks about how Kate Winslet was on set when she uh, said, "Like, hey, I got cast in this movie called Titanic." And Kenneth Branagh's like, "What's Titanic? Was that the ship? What? I don't care." And it's really funny. All those funny stories. Anywho, after the the Q and A, I ran up and got my screenplay of Hamlet. This baby right here. I had since I was a kid. I got this mother signed. Look at this. I got it signed. Kenneth Brana. I had this since the night. Look, it's all beat up. So I don't think I probably should have got this signed. I probably should have bought a new one. But who cares? This is... I love this guy. So I, I can only recommend checking out this Hamlet. Here's Kenneth Brana. if you didn't know what he looked like right there. Boom, boom, boom. Um, this is an awesome film filled with great amazing cameos by Gerard Depardieu, Robin Williams, uh, Billy Crystal, Charlton Heston. Uh, so I say check it out. Hamlet, awesome Shakespearean film. And if you're a person that's like, oh, I don't like Shakespeare, I just can't sit through it. I just don't know what they're saying. It's boring. It's stupid. Well, you know what? Put that gun, that gun that you have right there that you hate your life. Just grab that gun, put it to your temple, and pull that trigger. Because the world doesn't want you anymore. We all decided, the whole world decided that we don't want you here anymore. So you gotta leave. Put that gun to your head and pull that trigger. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of the room, buddy. 
All right, so there you go. Check out Hamlet. It's a great tale. It's a wacky fun thing. I love it. Check out Hamlet. Boom. Anywho, this also weekend, uh, the artist, Ollie Moss. If you ever seen his work, um, he did some work uh, for the Rolling Road Show for Mondo Tees. Mondo Tees, the guys that did um, or at least my Kill Bill poster. I showed you that a past YouTube thingy. Here, here's some stuff he did for the Rolling Road Show for them. It's a Robocop and There Will Be Blood poster. Check this out. Boom. Dude, wasn't that badass? Dude, that Robocop and There Will Be Blood. Oh my god. He does great work. He's an awesome minimalist uh, animator, but uh, it's not minimalistic. It's something else. It's he's, he's great. He takes awesome things. He makes your eye work on things. Anyway, at his art show that he was doing, he did silhouettes of movie, television, and video game characters. And oh my god, it was just a nerd, like, it was nerd heaven. It was so cool. They had characters that were just like, what? From that movie? From that movie? That video? What? What? Here, here's some of them right now. Look at that. Wasn't that badass? Seriously. Come on. Did I buy any? No. I didn't. Um, they. I arrived a little later, and so everyone uh, was there since, like, they camped out. And I didn't camp out. I just arrived, the, like, a few hours before the event. So it was all sold out. Yeah. And I'm lucky because I, I didn't spend $300 on it. And my wallet is happy. So I'll, there you go. But he also was releasing uh, some of his prints, art prints that he did for other project for another project uh, that weren't the silhouettes. Here's this. Um, he released this. You might have seen it on some viral, like viral, funny picture thingy. Um, here it is. Uh, is it two Batmans or Wolverine? Look at that baby. Is it Wolverine or two Batmans? I don't know. But it's so cool to look at. Look, it's number uh, 12 of 80, signed by Ali Moss himself, the great artist. Um, this is a great print. I just love looking at it. It hurts my eyes. I just enjoy it. It's so fucking cool. Dude, I bought this for 50 bucks and people are like, are you stupid buying it for 50 bucks, dude? What the hell's wrong with you? Well, go on fucking eBay. Check out this motherfucker. People are selling it for like 300 bucks and people are buying that shit. I'm not going to resell this guy because I'm a greedy only child. But I love this guy. So, boom. I'm really happy about this. Boom. So there you go. That was Movie Boner. Was it fun? I thought it was fun too. Uh, uh, it's a new movie. It's the new movie uh, Tuesday today, but I didn't I didn't get anything because okay look I was gonna get uh, something wild on Criterion but they had no features on it like real features so I'm not gonna spend thirty five bucks on a Criterion Blu-ray if it doesn't have any features on it I might wait until it goes on sale and then also I saw The Devil came out and uh, it's like thirty bucks everywhere too and I I'm gonna just wait for that one too so uh, yeah there you go uh, I'm an asshole I guess. I should have spent my money on movies, because this movie thing's called Movie Boner, alright? So I failed you. I'm sorry. My name is Frankie Pozos, and enjoy the rest of your days. Bye-bye! Week, porn star of the week, porn star of the week.